hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and uh, in this tutorial we will convert this drawing into the 3d model with the help of a part design workbench this tutorial is designed for the beginner user of uh, free cat to learn the part design workbench in free cat so let's start our tutorial you can also visit my website macnexus.com where i write articles and tutorials on freecad you can download my tutorial source file from the here you can also purchase my freecad crash course for beginner this course i have a design for the beginner user of a freecad where beginner user can master the freecad from the scratch if you like my method of teaching then please support me on coffee.com you can buy me a cup of coffee your small support will help this channel to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on freecad i will provide my website and my coffee donation page link and my course link in a video descriptions so let's come back to our tutorial so here i have activated the part design and i will create a new file so before starting this tutorial we will learn the model how we will proceed this model so first we will uh, draw this green portion of the model so for this uh, i will insert a body and on my origin plane and here i will uh, select this uh, exact plane and uh, create a sketch and then i move to the model and of the origin now here uh, i will select the polyline tool and uh, i will draw my profile a rough profile and then i will constrain it with the dimensions so here i will select this line and this point at the coincident relation and now i will select this point and this point and add the vertical relation and here is dimension is a 76 and uh, before giving the dimension we will make it symmetric so i will select this point this point and this uh, axis so that uh, it it would be symmetric now we can see that uh, it is a symmetric now i will select this line and give the vertical dimension of uh, 76 which is given here and now i move it and from the center it is given here 38 and this one is a uh, 43 from the edge to the whole center and this radius is 15 so this would be 43 plus uh, 15 And now we will uh, find out the thickness so thickness here uh, is not given if we zoom the model so thickness is uh, we will take approximately so I will select this line and add the vertical dimension and add the thickness of uh, let's say 10 mm and I will make this and this equal and from here to here I will give the 10 mm so this is the our uh, base sketch now I will come out of it and total extrusion uh, length is a uh, 74 which we can see here so I will select the sketch click on the extrude tool and give the 74 but here we will keep it symmetric to the plane and say ok now we will uh, remove the material so for this I will select this top face and create a sketch I will uh, switch to the right orientation and now I will uh, project these two edges and this edge as well now i will select the line tool and join two lines here and this point and this point 
will have the vertical relation and now I will select these two points and give the this dimension 10 mm 10 mm and uh, now here is a center distance is a 70 uh, sorry 37 but in this case we will create one three point arc as a construction arc let's uh, create a construction and this point and our origin point will have the horizontal relation and now I will uh, add the tangency relation add the tangency and from here add the tangency and this and this will have the also tangency relation now I will uh, trim the geometry which I not require and this radius is given R15 so I will select the radius tool select this radius and give the 15 mm and now I will select this and this and make it construction and now here I will again select the three point arc and let's see why it is unconstrained let's move it ok so now I will select this point and this point and add the horizontal relation now I will uh, close this profile remove the material and then I will mirror it on the other side so I will select the line and join this and join this so here you can see that uh, redundant constraint click on refresh select it and press the delete button so here I will select this and this and add the horizontal relation now close it and we will select this pocket tool and from here we are completely going to remove the material from top to bottom so simply select here true all and say ok and now select this pocket tool click on the mirror and from here select reference options and select your mid plane and say ok now <coughs> we will make this hole for this I will select this top face create a sketch project this uh, edge so that we get a point now click on the circle option create a circle and this is the diameter of 10 so I will select it and select diameter and give the 10 mm now I will close it select the sketch click on the pocket tool and say through all and say ok so this is the green features which we have made and now uh, we will move to the next feature so we have on our origin plane and we will select this exit plane and create a sketch now we will use the revolve tool so for this I will select the polyline tool and I will uh, draw a rough profile and then I will constrain with the dimension and I will join it now I will uh, switch to the wireframe view and I will select it and select the horizontal and this and this I will make it uh, vertical and I will uh, also make it vertical okay. 
now we will read the dimensions and uh, according to that we will constrain it so we can see here it is a diameter 60 so I will select this and this and give the vertical select this line and give the vertical dimension of 30 and now this diameter is a 42 so I will select this point and uh, this point and give the vertical dimension of uh, 21 I move my dimension and this di diameter is a uh, R17.5 so so this is a 35 so I will select uh, this line and give the vertical dimension select the line and click on the dimensions and uh, give it 17.5 okay now we will give the rest of the dimensions so we will start from this end so here it is given 105 so I will select this line click on dimension and give 105 select this point and this point it is 145 so I give 145 now let's see what is the unconstrained so this total length so from here if you see uh, this uh, thickness is not given so we will assume it we will select it and give the dimension of uh, 15 mm uh, not 15 10 uh, would be sufficient so give the 10 mm so we have made this profile as per our sketch these are the do drawings downloaded from the internet so these drawings in most of the cases some of the dimension get missing so here our idea is to understand the tools of a part design workbench that is our main motto and now I will close it and I will switch to the flat lines and now we will use the revolve tool click on the revolve tool and from here I will click on select reference and I will select this select reference and I will off my axis and I will select reference and select this line So here a uh, wire is not closed so I will clo cancel it go to my sketch uh, it is a uh, fully constrained why it is giving the error let's again try it in this case let's uh, on the axis click on the revolve select uh, reference click on this axis uh, so again it is showing wire is not closed let's find out the issue so here it was uh, not having the relation with existing body so what I did I have uh, projected the edge and then I <coughs> deleted this line and created one new line now I will select this point and this point and say merge and I will select this point and this point say coincident now I will close it 
now I will select the sketch click on revolve tool so now it took the Z axis but we will change it to the X axis select the X axis so you can see that uh, our part has been resolved revolved and now uh, we have to create the two cut one is this portion and one is here so first here it is a uh, given a 52 so I will uh, select the face and uh, create a sketch and I will switch to the isometric view and now I will uh, project this outer diameter and now I will uh, draw the two lines one at the top and uh, other on the bottom okay and now let's uh, switch to the wireframe view and switch to the right side view it is a uh, given 52 so I will uh, select these two points and uh, select these two points and give the dimension of uh, 52 and now from the center I will give the 26 now I move my dimensions now I will select this point and this arc and uh, make it coincidence and now we will create a three point arc select three point arc and uh, create one arc and let's see what is unconstrained so it is unmerge so click on merge similarly rather than drawing the three point arc on this side we will make this line construction and uh, we will use the mirror tool now switch to the flat lines and now click on the pocket tool and from here select the up to face options and select this face and say ok now we will select this pocket tool and click on the mirror and we will uh, click on select reference and select this xy plane and say ok now you might be wonder that uh, here one edge is showing so do not worry all you have to click on your last features and here on part design click on refines false to refines to so that it will be get hidden and you will see the actual view shown in our drawing now next thing is that uh, we will make one cut here so for this we will select this face and create a sketch switch to the isometric and then right view and now we will uh, project this diameter and uh, it is a uh, 7.5 so I will uh, select the line tool and uh, create one line and from the center I will give 7.5 7.5 and now I will uh, select a three point arc and now I will close it and uh, it is a cut distance is of uh, 54 this drawing quality is very poor but I am guessing it is a 54 so click on the sketch click on the pocket tool and give the distance 54 say ok and now switch to the isometric and now here we can see here is a uh, some uh, radius or chamfer is given so we will give the chamfer so select this edge and click on the chamfer we will give some approximate uh, value of the chamfer let's say 2 mm and say ok so you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully converted this uh, 
isometric drawing into the 3d model I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, this tutorial is very helpful for the beginner user to understand the part design workbench in FreeCAD so this is all about this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel and uh, also support me on coffee.com your small support will help this channels to grow and it will also motivate me to create a more awesome content on FreeCAD so this is all about this tutorial thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time